Hey everyone, Carl Larson here, and in this lesson, we're gonna discuss white balance. White balance is simply a setting in your camera that tells the camera what white is. Now, it may seem really strange at first to think that white isn't always a absolute measurement, but it's not. So let me explain the scene around me. I have three lights, actually four here, three lights that are set to different color temperatures. So these two lights in front that are kind of lighting me are at 3,800 degrees Kelvin and my camera is set to 3,800 degrees Kelvin as well. I'll explain what that means in a minute. But what that means in practical terms is that this light is white to the camera. That's why my skin tones look natural. Now behind me, I have two different lights. One of them looks orange and the other one looks blue. But any of the lights in the scene could be referenced as white by the camera. The one that looks orange is set to a low Kelvin temperature. It's burning at a lower temperature. So 2000 degrees Kelvin looks orange and 6000 degrees Kelvin looks blue. So think about it this way. A match burns cooler than a blowtorch. Both are fires, right? But a match glows orange while a blowtorch glows blue. So as long as the entire scene is lit with the same temperature of light, the camera settings match that, then colors will correctly be represented in the camera. White will look white. But the significant difference in color that we see in all these lights is something that we need to compensate for. We adjust for this in the camera using white balance. So if we learn nothing else, a lot of people get hung up on the subject and the important thing to know is simply this. To get accurate colors on camera, the color temperature of the light hitting your subject and the color temperature that is selected in the camera need to be set to the same value. So how do we know what to do how to get that so that our whites look white. We can start with a bit of an educated guess. Traditional lights are like that match. They burn at a low temperature and they glow orange. So this can be tungsten stage lights, par cans, ellipsoidals, basically most lights that aren't intelligent lights. These lights aren't as hot as the sun. They're 3200 degrees or even lower than that, really, really orange, especially if they've been dimmed by a dimmer. The 3200 is kind of the max and 2000 is kind of the minimum. Intelligent lights or outdoor lights like the sun burn at higher temperatures, 5600 degrees or so. These are usually any lights that move, LEDs, projectors, computer screens, TVs, etc. And then we have everything in between. So imagine that you have a room that has traditional lighting on the stage, but then some windows in the room that bring in some outdoor light. So that mix of light is gonna be somewhere between those two values, somewhere between 3800 to 4400, which is why on our cameras, we usually see a, a number of presets in there. So 3200 for indoor, 4300 for mixed light, and 5600 for outdoor light. Different parts of your stage and your scene can even have different white points depending on the color temperature of your lights and the color temperature of the ambient light in the room. So when in doubt, if we don't know, if we don't know based on our educated guess, we need to use a white card. A white card is a way of manually balancing light in the camera. If you're unsure of your white point or dealing with mixed lighting of indoor and outdoor light or something crazy like this, bring in a card, manually white balance to this point, and you can at least figure out the white balance of your subject. Now let's do some practical examples. That's kind of like the theory. And let's review what we have. So we've got two lights hitting me set to 3800 and the lights behind me, one is set to 2000, or one is set to 2000 and one is set to 6000. So I have an orange light and a blue light. So let's see what happens if I change all of the lights to 3800. So pause the camera, I'm gonna change the lights, we'll see what happens. Nothing's changing in camera, I'm just changing the color of the lights. Stand by. All right, so I changed everything to 3800 and as expected, now all of the lights appear white. So now let's go and let's play with some other settings. I'm gonna change all of the lights now to 6,000 Kelvin. And I want you to guess what's gonna to happen to the image in the camera. So I'm gonna change the color of the lights again. I'm going up in Kelvin degrees and I'm not changing the settings in camera. So camera's still at 3,800, lights are going to 6,000. Take a guess, stand by. All right, so that's looking gross, right? We have all of this blue light hitting me now, but the camera is still expecting an orange light value. So what we need to do is adjust the camera to a higher Kelvin temperature. So 
Stand by to that, and this will prove that no matter what color of light we have in the room, as long as our white balance is correct, white will look white, and all of our colors will look again correct. So I'm going to adjust the camera for the lights. Stand by. Okay, with the white balance on the camera updated to 6,000, the light no longer looks blue. Everything looks white again because the color temperature coming out of our lights and the color temperature selected in camera match. White can look white at 6,000 and white can look white like it did earlier at 3,800. It doesn't matter. As long as everything in the scene is the same color temperature, then white can be white along a big spectrum of color ranges. So let's do one final thing. I'm going to change the lights one more time. So we change them from 3,800 to 6,000. I'm gonna drop them all the way down to 2,000 and I want you to guess what's gonna happen. Camera's gonna say it's 6,000 for the moment and I'm gonna drop the lights to 2,000. All right, so that looks gross, but now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the white balance in the camera to match. So I'm gonna change the Kelvin temperature on the camera to 2000 and everything should look white again. Stand by. All right, so now the camera's set to 2000 and I've got 2000 degree light coming out of these lights. And again, white looks white. So the point is to get things to look correct on camera, it doesn't matter what color of light we're shooting at our scene. What matters is that we consistently light it and make our cameras know what color of light is aimed at them. So in review, white balance is all about making sure that the light, the color temperature coming out of your lights that's hitting your subject matches the color temperature setting that you have manually selected in the camera. So remember, not all lights burn at the same temperature. Traditional lights have a low Kelvin temperature and appear orange. And daylight balance lights, or the sun, have high temperature, looking blue. And we can compensate for all of that in camera using manual white balance settings. So I hope you learned something. I hope that made things a little more clear. And I'll see you in the next lesson.